Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. This one is going to be a pretty quick one, but kind of a maybe an important one for those who make a lot of videos that are using a similar style. So we'll just call it like making iMovie templates. There's not really a good way to do it or a, a, a way that Apple lets us make templates, but um, this is kind of the best way I could come up with pretty much. So what I've done here is I've made kind of a simple project kind of a baseline project with video title, a background, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, and then like an end screen here. So what I wanna do is maybe I have to make a lot of videos, a lot of similar videos with different content, but I wanna use that same template. What I would do is actually make the template here, pick the actual look and feel that I want, titles, backgrounds, or whatever, and once I get it to a certain state, I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna hit this project button on the left corner here and I'll name it template 01 and we'll just say okay. So now I have one template here. From this point, in order to make it kind of a repeatable process, I wanna make some duplicates of that. So what I'll do is just hit these three dots and we'll duplicate the project. And then I'm gonna actually go in and rename it. So I'll make this template two. Okay. And then I'll just keep repeating that until I have enough templates that I know that I won't accidentally use all of them. So let me duplicate this one. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. Go here, duplicate. So now I have you know four templates that I can use um, for the project, depending on what kind of projects you're gonna do. But I think this is probably the best way, the easiest way you can do it. If you need something to be completely repeatable, you just basically set up the video you the way you want it without that content, and you stop, you go to projects, and it'll actually save it for you. And then you go in here and just make duplicates of the project. And that's about the only way that I can think in iMovie to actually do this. Of course, it's a lot easier in professional video editing apps like Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. But, you know, for the free application that comes with All Max iMovie, which is a great editing program, in my humble opinion, uh, I think it's a good way to do it. Okay, I think that's it for the video here. We'll call it an end, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace, aloha, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.